Hello guys, my name is JW Tifa and it is time for the not so berry and I'm just gonna call it a legacy because I don't really feel like calling it a challenge and legacy is probably about the best fit for it. So it is the not so berry legacy uh, part two. Okay, so last time I told you guys that I was gonna tell you what the lot traits were and I never actually mentioned it. The lot traits are great soil science layer and gnomes and for the most part you probably know what they do but in case you don't great soil is good for gardening or it says gardening just seems to go really well here science layer is the secluded vibe means there's little to distract great minds from the study of logic or rocket science which is good because for her the rules do state that she needs to max out her log her logic skill and she needs to be focused for work so this should or this um trait should mean that she's gonna she has an easier time at um staying focused and maxing out that logic skill gnomes are broken things just seem to get mended overnight is as if kindly gnomes watch over the place so awesomely if anything breaks she doesn't have to worry about too much because hopefully the gnomes work i've never actually had anything break to uh test this out even on my like city living one i think we were staying at an apartment that was um I had gnomes too and I never I never had to use it and the gardening is really just like gardening is good for her job because she can take plant samples to work and stuff and um, analyze them without actually having to harvest the crops at work and gardening helps draw her inspiration which causes her to uh, have breakthroughs and um, also just a fantastic way to make money so anyway before we jump into the game Newcrest was looking kind of blah and I mean it still is like look at all these empty lots it takes me forever to fill in lots in Newcrest and I kind of hate it because it seems like in all my let's plays I think I only have like one let's play yeah they're in San Mishuno so obviously they're not in Newcrest but it just seems like all my sims end up here I can't help it there's all this space and I can pretty much do whatever I want I did move in uh, this guy I do not know his name all I know is that the household was titled Night Fury and he's very cute. Like, hopefully we'll see him around so that I can show you guys. But if you want to download him, I am going to try to remember to post a um, link in the description to uh, the household here. But the creator of Night Fury was Summertime007123. So, if you want to type in that origin ID, that should also pull you up. Also, to go with Night Fury, I downloaded a new house, or a new lot, or whatever, and I also put this lot, um, which you can't really see because he's in it. And, yeah, it doesn't have any lot traits, so we can fix that if we want to. I mean, I'm not really caring too much, I'm just gonna, I just kinda want her to, you know, introduce herself to him, maybe, you know, have some pretty babies along the line, maybe eventually down the road, yeah? Okay, so the house is called Eco House for One Sim, and it was created by... And I do not really know if I'm saying this right. It looks almost like George, but there's no other G in it. It's G-E-O-R-E -E Sugar 666. So that is the creator of the Eco House. And I downloaded this really cool bar off the gallery. I get, o I get in over my head sometimes, guys, when I start downloading stuff. And you would think I would probably have all of Newcrest filled up if I just really had the time, but I really wanted to start recording and I was like, I'm going to be here all day if I just keep at it. But this bar was called the China Bar and it was created by X Nutella uh, O W A X. So uh, X Nutella O W A X. And I'm not really sure how to pronounce that either. I guess you would say X Nutella Owa X. <laughs> anyway, so that's. Um, the shout outs in case I forget to uh, link it down in the description and then you can always come back later and replay the video in case you didn't or understand me completely. Alright, let's get into this. Whoa! No, 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 no. we don't want to visit. <laughs> I mean, we do want to visit, but we just want to play. I did play a little bit off camera like I said that I probably would when we finished up part one because it's just kind of slow to start off with um I think we caught a goldfish and we named him Barry because I mean 
I couldn't think of another name. I was trying to think of something kind of clever, like minty or something, but then I was like, I really don't know. And it's the Not So Berry Challenge, and I was like, let's just name him, we'll just name him Berry. She, um, did have her two breakthroughs, which we did all of those with fishing, if I remember correctly. So, she was eating breakfast. As you can see, it's the next day, and she's just getting ready for work, and I just wanted to, uh, take you guys to work with me, with us. This is Barry. As you can see, he's just chilling in his little fishbowl. He's, you know, he's got nothing to worry about. He's got mm, bigger fish to fry, so to speak. So, we had our two breakthroughs with just fishing. And hopefully, if we have a really good day at work, we'll either be promoted or we'll get really close to promotion. That's my plan, at least. She's eating a garden salad because vegetarian, so, you know. Now, she wants to admire positions again. And uh, share insecurities. Because she is jealous. Let's see. Did we introduce ourselves to anyone else? I don't think when we got off camera. I think we might have ended up talking to a. Uh, and if you watch my. um, Oh you're done. Thank you. If you watch my uh, City Living Let's Play. You know that I have no idea how to say her name. And I usually just call her Miss Faust. So I think we've been talking to Miss Faust. We've been very rude to Nancy. Um, but it's probably going to stay that way. Because you know I have no qualms of being rude to Nancy. I like this girl. Lily. Yeah. <gasps> we got to be friends with her. We have the same name. I think she spells hers with just one L. And she spells hers with two. But um. So yeah, looking on the lookout for that dude. Maybe he'll leave his house. This house is super cute. And honestly, we would like, I would probably move into it with him if it wasn't for the fact that, like, I really like the house that I built for her. Is this him? No. That's the mailman. That's the mailman, guys. Also, I'm not 100% sure how the audio is sounding for this. I hope it's working. Um, today's mail has been delivered. Who are you? You're Mortimer. Okay, we apparently asked her about work. I don't remember doing that, but... Oh, here's our other chick that we want to be friends with. So the important part... And my phone is dying. Go figure. The important thing to... um The mint challenge is that she... Although she is mischievous and kind of mean... She's also, it, it claims she makes time for her friends and all that kind of stuff. So, if we make a couple of friends, I think that would be good enough. Because, obviously, she's only going to probably have a couple of close friends. People that, you know, kind of see through her, like, super me. Sam. No, this is a f a Lily's husband. Victor, I think is his name, right? Yeah, and I have to admit, he's pretty cute, too. Like, for an older, he, he definitely looks kind of older. But he's a pretty nice looking man. So, I want her to have those close friends, like I was saying, that she can spend um, time with. And then, you know, them kind of see the real her and know that she's not just like a super mean, uh, insulting kind of person. Which I feel is the vibe that she would give off. And I'm wondering how work's going to go. Because, you know, we got to have some work friends, but we also are going to have some work enemies. Also, I want to check and make sure, um, or not make sure, I want to check and see if there's any plants that we can harvest for the uh, gardening skill so that we can start working on that. But, let's hope to have a very awesome day at work today. <laughs> I like this, um, legacy challenge so far, like, it forces me to kind of play on my comfort zone, but there's also not, like, too many different things that you have to go have going on, you know. So I think we can go ahead and invent the. Yeah, it doesn't require anything. So let's invent this and hopefully. Why is she not wearing glasses with her work uniform? I mean, that seems like something you would wear glasses with. But you know, who am I to judge? She might not be that blind. Um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it didn't say anything about clubs. It just said make time for friends. But I feel like if we were in a club, we would be, like, definitely, you know, having to go to the hangout stuff. I'm going to say no thanks. And we'll just hang out, like, whenever, you know, um, they ask us to go out to, like, a bar or something. And now that I've placed that bar, hopefully we'll go out and do things like that. Okay. I need 
a picture. Because, you know. She is, like, low-key cute, too, guys. Like, that's a very intense stare. But I seriously do think that she is, like, low-key really fine. Because, um... <laughs> With the glasses on, you can't really see her eyes and stuff, but I think that her face is really pretty. And I can't take any credit because, honestly, I'm, like, the worst person ever when it comes to creating sims. Oh, she doesn't want to be having too much fun with whatever she's doing. So, like, I'm really bad at creating sims, and usually I just randomize until I'm like, oh, I kind of like the face that this sim has, or, like, I think the body style is great, or I think that the hair looks really awesome on him, or something. Something's got to strike me with that sim when I'm randomizing it. Kind of like with the names, too. Like, I didn't actually come up with her name. I randomized it. <laughs> I'm very indecisive, so I like when things make decisions for me. <laughs> Which is why I think I like challenges so much, because they're, like, they tell me kind of how to play. Alright, let's speed it up. She's having a really... Awesome day at work. So far, it seems to be going great. Ooh, do not break it. I'm pretty sure we can break things at work, and I really don't want her to break it. Oh, there's a bookshelf here, so if we need to be inspired and we were still at work, not inspired, if we need to have a breakthrough and we were still at work, then we could easily just read. Okay, awesome. So I think now she can put this in her inventory. Yay! And all of this is like spin around, but it's kind of cool. Oh, psh. apparently she wants to turn it on. Can we not have it out here? Okay. Apparently we can, just not there. All right. Let's turn it on. And this is what it. Mm, excuse me. This is what it does. Nothing special. It looks kind of cool though. I like it. I think it has a. No, I guess it doesn't have an emotional or. What are you doing and why are you doing it? Experiment on the chemistry lab and ask a co-worker for a crystal. Uh, let's see. Who are you? Your name is Earl. Your name is Danny. I'm trying to, you know, figure out who's going to be our friend and who's going to be our enemy. Don, Don works here. Don, we got to ask Don for a crystal. Like, come on. How are we not going to ask Don for a crystal? Oh, he's thinking about slacking. Yeah, I could see Don being kind of a slacker at work. Alright, who's this person? Was there not a person, guys, that was, like, running? Oh my goodness, it is Eliza. Wow. We'll probably end up being rude to her because, I mean, she's Eliza, and why not? <laughs> We're always so rude to Eliza. I should probably be nice about her just once. Uh, what are we asking for? A crystal. Can we not? I was pretty sure that was one of the first things we could do. Do we have to kind of be friends? Oh, this is going to take forever. And now she wants to view the momentum conserver. I don't know why we didn't do that while we were over there. I apologize, guys. I wasn't paying attention. Sharing securities. Um, can we do that with Dawn? I mean, that would be kind of odd, wouldn't it? Just a little bit, like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> we barely know you, but, uh, we want you to know how very insecure we are. Let's ask him about his salary, right? Let's praise his work ethic, even though, yep, thinking about slacking again. He's very much thinking about slacking. Pretend to fire. Uh, how about no? Discuss work. I wish she would go away. Like, I don't want to be friends with you. Tell a not safe for work joke. Definitely. Definitely. Can I ask him for a crystal yet? Get off the phone, sir. Clearly, what we're doing here at work is more important. Get to know him. Oops, sorry. I bumped my mic. <clears throat> Who's this dude? Who's this dude? Who's <laughs> no way? Noah? I'm not really sure you'd pronounce that. Oh, you're non-committal, Don. I had no idea. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to ask you for a crystal. I was pretty sure it wasn't this hard. Actions? No. I don't know what to do. He's why is he flirty? <sighs> um. Anyway, we're gonna do. We're just gonna. We're gonna come view this, 
And we're gonna come back to Don. Yes. We're gonna come back to Don. He's he's busy. He's he's doing work, you know. I don't wanna waste for freaking ever trying to figure out how to uh you know. Oh now she wants to repair an object. Okay, so we did that. I think we have to get stuff to mix a synthetic food serum. Can we uh, experiment on chemistry lab? Is this it? This looks like it. Uh, no. Hey, it's broken. Oh, but that's not part of our wa job. That's just something she wants to do. What's this thing? Is this a thing? This is not a thing. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, guys, just stop me now. All right, here. I think we can, I think this is the thing. This is the thing. For a second, I thought we were Eliza, and I was about to be super upset, because I was like, Eliza, why are you on our thing? <laughs> My cat is being very attention needy right now. He's apparently decided that whenever I record, he's got to uh, be in on this. Alright, she's having a little fun. How long do we have to experiment on this? Is this even... It doesn't tell me if it's a chemistry. Okay, we're good. We're good! We're doing it right. Alright. I have to set my cat on the floor. He's driving me crazy. He probably doesn't like me right now. Which is okay, because he almost never likes me. <laughs> um. Okay, how do we do a synthetic food serum? Oh, any plant. Any plant, okay. Let's go over here and, oh my goodness, they're terrible. But uh, we're not worried about that right now. And in fact, we're going to probably use these to start our own little garden. So we're just going to, we're just going to harvest them. Okay, guys, don't tell anyone. Um, what is she doing? Why is she doing nothing? Why is she standing there? Okay, great. I'm glad you got the gardening skill. Dawn, can we get a crystal from you yet? Is it because we can't ask him for a crystal? Surely not. I think anyone that's a co-worker you can get a crystal from. I don't know. I do not know. Might need to try it. Where did Eliza go? Like I said, maybe we'll be nice to Eliza this one time. <laughs> Alright, hold on. She's done with that, so let's synthesize serum and make synthetic food. And... I'll keep my eyes peeled on Eliza. Eliza! Yeah, I can ask her for a crystal. I'm not 100% sure. Um, anyway, though, let's see what she's doing right now. And then we'll ask Eliza for a crystal. Or is there someone else we want to ask and we want to be rude to Eliza? Because I'm perfectly okay with that. I don't know, maybe we should be meeting this Earl guy. He's been on the computer all the whole time. I don't think he's done any real work. <laughs> I like her intense faces she makes when she's at work. She seems, like, very into this. Like, this is perfectly up her alley. Like, she is very concerned about this job. How are we doing on time? We have two hours left. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Why is this taking forever? She's getting hungry, so it might be a good idea to finish this and test it out on her, you know? <clears throat> Alright, speed it up. It's taking too long. I do not have the patience for this. Oh, I guess I should have been watching this to see how long it was taking. No, I want to have a good day on the first day. We wasted so much time talking to Dawn that did us no good. Okay, she actually created the serum. Alright, let's go ahead and ask her for a crystal so we can at least send it in. Where did Eliza go? Does she not want to be our friend now? Is that what it is? Who are you? You're no way. No way. I don't know what your name is. Um, is she upstairs slacking? I feel like she's upstairs slacking. I don't see her. Where did you go? No. Well, at least we're having a really good first day now. Oh, there she is. 
She made herself food. Look at how happy she is about to. She's like, yeah, I made myself some food. Even though I've done, like, no work. She's very focused. She's having a super awesome day at work. Um, yeah, we're definitely not getting that uh, promotion. But I do think we're doing a really good job. Oh, she gave me an alabaster. Awesome. Oh. Alright, can we eat our little thing? Let's drink it and see how it goes. We can send this to Geo Council. Yeah, I know your birthday's coming to end, but it's okay, we're doing pretty good. Let's see if there's any, um, oh, I guess we want this, right? Why is it not going in our thing? We could sell it. I'll probably just sell it. Because it doesn't even have an emotional aura, and I don't know what it's going to really benefit us doing. Let's dig for treasure, because we still have this treasure map. And the dig for treasure thing is actually worth your while, except sometimes you get capsules, and then, like, I'm not sure if the capsules are, like, I know they're not guaranteed to be worth more money than, you know, your common ones or whatever, but I wonder if there's, like, a higher percentage that you'll get a better capsule. Yes. Alright, what did we get? <gasps> I don't know. See, alright, let's open this one and see what she got. I don't think he's worth a lot. Yeah, he's only worth 25. See, mm, waste of time. Let's go ahead and sell this. Which, <clears throat> I don't know what we'd really use money for except to, like, upgrade our house. And definitely have kids. Like, unlike most legacy challenges, I mean, there's not a, like, limit to the amount of kids you can have or anything. And it's not even stated, like, whether she has kids early or not. It just says, have kids. <laughs> That's it. Um, I don't know if doing more work helps. Does she still want to repair something? Let's, let's have her repair this then. Even though she'll probably be, uh, done with work by the time she even gets over there. Yep. Oh, wait! We were promoted! Has been promoted to Apprentice Inventor. She will now make an additional $8 per hour for a grand total of 32 per hour. She's also received the following bonus. 192 simoleons, new clothes, and journey to the stars. That's a poster, right? Okay. We're doing awesome. Doing awesome. So yeah, that's probably what most of the uh, parts will consist of. They'll consist of very uh, her going to work and doing the sciency thing, and we'll be working on our logic skill then and there. Which reminds me, I need to buy a. Um, I think I'll buy like a little chest set and put it in her uh, lair. Even though that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? Because a <laughs> uh, chest works better with two people. I mean, I, you would assume it works better for two people. So, yes, there's a little thing, and she's acquired the, uh, which has to be fun for her. Where could we put it, though? That would be, like, out of the way. I guess we could have it outside. Obviously, the house is kind of tiny, and we don't really have a lot to, um, work with. <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll just put it outside. <laughs> Who's never heard of a chess table outside, right? Oh yeah, and I named the house Mint Gardens. I don't think I mentioned that in the last uh, part. And obviously when I upload the speed build though, you guys will probably be able to see it. Whew. So yes, this is the cheapest. So we're going to go with this. I think it's like real cute over here. But I kind of want to plant stuff over there. So, put some chairs out. Ha! <laughs> we'll put the high chair out, definitely. We want some, like, outside -y looking chairs that are, like, kind of cute. Those are a little too nice looking, I think. How are these? These look good. Yeah. And like I said, we have some money. So, it's not going to hurt anything. Um... So let's first admire your new possession, because that's going to make you happy too. I don't know if that's going to make your fun go up, but it's going to make you happy. Yeah, it didn't make your fun go up. 
play. Oh. Sorry, guys. I usually am pretty good about catching my timer right before it goes off. But uh, I didn't this time. Okay, let's see. Now she wants to buy a pool from not owning a home luxury. So, obviously, she wants to buy a pool. And this is doing awesome. It's making her fun go up, which is fantastic. Um, I want to meet Night Fury. You can kind of look inside his house. Oop, and then too much. So he's got a nice TV. Like I said, this house is really cute. And it was kind of like super simple. Like, I think it said for one sim, but I think there was two rooms. There was like a bathroom and a main bedroom. And then there was another room off to the side that wasn't um completed yet. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this part here. Because as you guys heard, the timer went off, which means... It's time to uh, stop. Oh, I love that picture of her. Except I think her eyes are closed. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments for, like, anything that you want us to do in the next part. Or, like, do you want to have a kid early? Or do you want her to kind of, like, I could, I could kind of see her being the type of person that starts to, like, get, like, works on her job and gets really focused and gets super high up in her job. And then right before she becomes an elder, like, has a freak out moment and is like, I want to have kids, you know, like, her maternal instincts kick in. And then she starts hearing that biological clock going off or whatever. And she's like, I got to have kids. So, um, yeah, whatever you guys think. And I'm happy to have a kid early on. I'm happy to have a kid later. It's just whatever. And... How many kids do you think she should have? Because I'm thinking, especially the way that, you know, like I feel like she'll probably have a kid later in life. I feel like she would probably only have one or maybe two tops. But um, I think it just depends. So, yes, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.